Now, we had two faces selected on this one, so we need to be a little bit more careful um, with applying the others because we've already set some. If we ignore back facing, click to select uh, the next face, and we can just quickly have a look around. We've not got any of the selected, so we just need to set the right ID. This next ID is ID 2, so let's go and set this to, and we'll just click to select the final one uh, on the sides, which is ID 5. Then finally we just need to turn the box around select the bottom face didn't want to move that let's just undo select the bottom face and make that ID 6 ok now that's all our IDs selected now we just need to make sure all the textures are orientated properly so we'll do that next so if we have a look at everything full screen and um, we can see that all of the side maps are the right way up the top looks fine and we just need to rotate the bottom so let's unwrap UVW edit now we just need to pick the box face and let's have a look at where we're going to line this up so let's just rotate this around to see if it matches the other way a little bit better and so yeah much better okay let's collapse the stack again we don't need to keep it and there we have our cardboard box mapped so the next thing for us to do is to move on to rendering the model Okay, now we're on the final steps um, of rendering our model. Before we can do any renders, we need to set up the environment. So first of all, we go to rendering environment and we want to set the ambient, the global lighting tint, the intensity and the background color. Now, first of all, for this type of render, I'll normally set the ambient to around about 150. Um, I'll then set the tint to around about 200 and the level at around about 0.5 which I'll type in press return and to get a pseudo studio lit type of effect I'm going to set the background color fairly bright as if it was in a well lit studio but um, obviously we won't be building any of the studio or adding multiple lights so we'll just set this to around about 230 and that should give us um, the desirable effect okay the next thing we need to do is pick um, the orientation of the object to render now I really like the staple detail in the texture and I really like the top so that's how I'm going to position my render next thing we need to do is to go to rendering uh, render setup I'll click F10 and I'm just going to do a quick 800 by 600 render. If you want to set it any higher than that, you can click the image aspect lock and type in whatever you like, uh, 1920. Um, that'll give you nice high detail render or whatever settings you like, really. Um, once you're happy with the size of your render, we'll click the render button. And there we have it. Um, the last thing you just need to do is click on save call it box jpeg and we're all done okay that concludes the first tutorial from 3ds max modeling for games by me andrew gan hopefully 
you've enjoyed it and hopefully you'll be producing some really good renders soon okay check back on the website soon at www.3d-4-games.com for more tutorials and extra tips okay thanks and i look forward to seeing you soon bye